Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about speed. Now suppose I want to cover this straight road, which is 60 kilometers in distance. Now I can choose any of the means of transport to cover this road. Uh, and suppose I choose a car for this purpose. Now this car covers this road in just one hour. Now if I would have chosen a bicycle, this bicycle as compared to car is very slow and hence it takes a very longer time that is 10 hours. Now if I would have chosen a bus instead, it would have taken around 2 hours to cover the same distance that is 60 kilometers. So from here we can figure out that different objects may take different time to cover the same distance. And it all depends upon how fast an object is in moving. So the fastness of an object matters here. And I said that the car was faster than a bus and the bus was faster than the bicycle. So here we can say that the bicycle is the slowest in motion and the car was the fastest in motion. Now this fastness of an object has got a separate name which we call as speed of that particular object. And we can say that the speed of an object is the rate at which it moves or the rate of motion of an object is what we call as the speed. Now how can we say precisely that a car moves faster than a bus? One way of doing it is to measure the speeds of a car and a bus and then we can precisely say that a car is faster than a bus in moving. Now how to measure it? By measuring we mean that distance traveled by that object per unit time. Now unit time here refers to one hour or one minute or one second. So we need to calculate how much distance an object travels per one hour, per one minute or per one second. So this would essentially give us the value of speed of that object. Now, as we have seen, a car travels 60 kilometers in just one hour. And one hour here is a unit time. So we can say that the speed of this car is 60 kilometers per hour. Now we have seen that the bus has covered the same 60 kilometers, but it has taken two hours to cover that. So at the end of one hour, it must have covered half a distance, which is 30 kilometers. And thus the speed of this bus can be said as 30 kilometers per hour. Same thing we can do for bicycle also and calculate its speed. Now we said that the bicycle has traveled the same distance that is 60 kilometers, but it has taken 10 hours to do that. And thus at the end of one hour, it must be covering six kilometers. And so the speed of this bicycle becomes six kilometers per hour. Now in all these three cases, you must be noticing that there is a number which is accompanied by kilometers per hour. And this whole thing we call it as speed of that object. Now this kilometers per hour in all these three cases is what we call as the unit of speed or this is the unit in which in terms of which we measure the speed of a particular object and these numbers over here 30, 60 and 6 refer to, refers to the magnitude of speed. Now there can be so many other units of speed for example meters per second or miles per hour or we can also measure speed in terms of centimeters per second. Now among all these units of speed, this unit that is meters per second is the one which we call as the SI unit of speed. And this unit of measurement of speed is what we'll be focusing on whenever we do the numerical problems based on speed. Now. We define speed as the distance covered by an object per unit time. And the formula for this physical quantity that is speed is distance divided by time taken by the object. And hence, uh, 
the speed is given by the distance traveled divided by the time that the object has taken to cover that distance. Again, we can say that speed is a scalar quantity. Since speed uh, is a physical quantity which depends upon distance and time. And we know very well that distance is a scalar quantity. And time is also a scalar quantity. And we know that these two scalar quantities are not accompanied with direction. And thus, speed which depends upon these two scalar quantities is also a scalar quantity. Now, we have learned about two kinds of motion that is uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Now, uniform motion is the one in which an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. And a non-uniform motion is the one in which an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. So, since in this case, the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, the distance and time ratio, which we call as the speed, remains constant throughout the motion of a body. And thus, we can say that whenever a body is moving with uniform motion, its speed remains constant throughout the motion. And similarly, for a non-uniform motion, since the object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time, the ratio of distance to time doesn't remain constant throughout the motion of the body. And thus, we say that the object in a non-uniform motion is having a variable speed. So this was all about speed and I hope the video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.